going on YouTube? Mike with iHeart Knives. Wanted to go over a couple things quick. Um, first, I want to thank Outpost76, Gerald. Thank you very much. Um, you didn't have to do that. I know I sent you the straps and, and the leather, but uh, to go out and and publicly thank me and, uh, and then go over and tell your subscribers to subscribe to my channel. Uh, you guys are you guys are awesome so really thank you so much um, one quick thing I got uh, a couple messages or a couple uh, comments talking about straps asking me about um, possibility for making straps and uh, cost and all that the easiest way to get a hold of me would be to email me at um, iheartknives at yahoo.com I'll, I'll definitely take inquiry um, right now I'm really busy I work two full-time jobs um, and I do the straps and razors and knives on the side I do the videos on the side just you know as a hobby um, but family and uh, and work will come first that being said if you guys inquire about the straps, I'll get back to you. It's not like it, you know, if you email me that it's going to take weeks to get back to. The only thing is, um, with the straps, like razor straps and stuff like that, I keep certain leathers in stock. Um, so if you're not really picky about leathers and, and making, you know, me making a strap for you, um, then then yeah it'll work out but if you're gonna if you want like something really specific or a leather that like I'd have to order and stuff like that chances are I'm not gonna be able to do it or it would take a long time um, when I was talking to Gerald about offering like the possibility of of making straps and um, and you know like trying to help guys out with that my whole intention was to get you guys quality straps but like as a favor I'm not trying to make money off this uh, even like the razor straps that I make it's not a business it's just uh, basically me making straps in my spare time uh, as a hobby I'm trying to help razor guys out because when I first started in the razor community um, a lot of the advertisement and a lot of the videos push like certain companies and you know go to this guy for this and that guy for that and realistically if you have a little bit of a DIY mentality you can easily do it yourself and that's what I started doing I started making my own straps finding my own leather um, sourcing my own leather and it quickly turned into friends finding out and then asking for me to make a strap um, same with the stones, you know, the Japanese natural stones. I've been doing that for a while now with the razors. I find that they give the best edge. Synthetic stones are awesome, but the edges that come off of a synthetic stone are not even comparable to naturals. Again, that's my opinion. So, I just wanted to, to touch base with you guys, especially the Outpost 76 subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, the the outpour which you know not to diminish you guys but like you know 20 subscribers in a matter of an hour for me you know I've been doing this for a few weeks um, I guess posting videos ha haven't been that long but you know I've been making videos for a few weeks and then I have a little bit of a back pile but uh, you know when you get maybe a subscriber a day for Gerald to just say hey go check out this guy's channel and then you guys come over and it's like you know in an hour I got 20 subscribers and all kinds of comments and stuff I know it's peanuts for some people but I didn't go into this thinking anybody was gonna even watch my videos it was more to to basically document my process and to document um, where I was gonna be let's say a year from now um, to see how I grew as a knife user, to see how I grew as a, a straight razor user, 
sharpener, etc. So, um, the dog is going crazy in the background right now. This was never to be, um, you know, this is never to be like one of those, you know, million subscriber channels. It'll never get there. But um, I just wanted to share with you guys, um, you know, some of my thoughts with sharpening and knives and. Um, and feel free, if you guys want to email me or comment, feel free to, to give me topics of discussion. If you, I've got a, a couple inquiries already about sharpening videos, specifically Japanese naturals. So I will, uh, I will do some sharpening videos freehand, sharpening videos and uh, Japanese natural stones. I'll definitely get those up uh, as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, I don't have like a script for this. I'm just trying to go off the top of my head. But I just wanted to thank you guys. Uh, I really wanted to thank and want to thank uh, Gerald from Outpost 76. Uh, it means a lot, you know. I was watching his videos and I'm thinking to myself, you know, this guy's putting hours and hours of his time into these videos. Like... Abuse, not even abusing his knives, but using his knives and and diminishing the life of his knives for us, so that we can discuss like what a steel is going to do. You know, there's really not much of a benefit for him. He's not like making money from this. It, he's just doing it to share his experience with us, which I think is awesome. And that was a, the big push for why I wanted to. You know, I saw he was stropping on like a, a piece of leather. In one of his, uh, in one of his videos, I want to say maybe three or four weeks ago, and I thought to myself, "Well, shit, I have all this leather sitting around down in the basement. Most of it's probably going to get tossed out because it's all just like you know spare." Um, and I'm talking like cutoffs. I gave Gerald good sized pieces that you know they they were usable pieces. I wasn't just going to give him like little, you know, two or three inch shit pieces of leather. But, uh, you know, I thought to myself, if I have this leather laying around and, and it's not big enough to make, a, like I have a piece right here, this is a piece of bridle for a straight razor strap. This is a, a big piece. This is a three inch by like 28 inch piece of leather. You know, and, and I have cut off pieces that are 10, 12, 13 inches because, um, you know, when you get a hide or a half hide, you know, depending what cut you get, like I have double shoulders of that bridle, excuse me, and um, when you cut it, it's irregular, you know, you don't get like a perfectly rectangular piece or square piece, it's, um, the shape of it is, is, there's a lot of round parts to it and there's a lot of waste, so I thought to myself, hey, if he's, you know, if this guy is just using a, a small scrap piece of leather, and I have this stuff laying around, why not send it to him and see if he can make use of it? And and uh, I didn't set my expectation that, that he was gonna even use them. I honestly thought, you know, maybe the best route would be balsa wood and basswood for him. But, you know, given that, uh, that I was gonna send him the leather, I figured, well, the best chance of, of it being useful for him is if I just throw it on a block, make a handle, um, I had some scrap oak laying around and uh, that's another big hobby of mine is woodworking and when I have the time woodworking and, uh, and I turn like shave brushes and stuff like that so that's really like my one of my biggest passions but it takes time and um, to get really good at it you have to be full time but yeah so I figured that was that was my best chance at, at giving him um, you know, a strap that would be useful for him. And, uh, and given that it did work out that way, I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, I am going to do some strap videos too, to show you guys like the flex of the strap. Uh, that was a big learning curve for me in the beginning. I didn't realize, you know, that like how much leather cushions and, and, you know, like the pockets that you get when you go to strap. Um, so, if you take a knife 
and you're on a smooth piece of leather and you start to strop much like your hand see how you might be able to see how my hand starts to envelop the knife edge so leather does that too and if you're not careful and if you put too much pressure the uh, the edge will roll over um, so I, there's a, some technique with that and if you are the type of person that uses a lot of pressure there's ways to get around that so you can use pressure but you need to lower your bevel angle um, you'll get more convexing and stuff but we'll go into that so I'd like to do um, a strop video about that if, if you guys are um, you know if you guys are, are wanting to see that or literally whatever you guys can think of that's knife razor um, shave related that type stuff uh, just leave it in the comments um, or email me about it if you guys are looking for a strop and you're not in a rush um, you know email me the comments are awesome keep them coming please but it's tough for me to give answers in comments because it's not just like do this or do that you know I could say oh go to this site and go buy this strop that's easy but if you're wanting to to know the difference between like horse and kangaroo and you know some of the questions were a little bit more in depth um, I would say email is, is just the easiest way that that I can send you guys um, detailed answers so to stop rambling and I'm actually about to to do a sharpening video figured I'd do a face reveal in the same one because uh, right now I'm I'm pulling a Nick Shabazz and I don't wear the Batman mask but uh, right now I just do the you know point of view uh, camera angle so I figured kill two birds with one stone get my thanks out to Outpost 76 thanks out to you guys um, and really I, I sincerely uh, appreciate all the comments the likes the subscription um, to my channel and uh, you know the other thing too I, f I feel bad putting it at the end Patty from Patty's Potato Peelers thank you so much I know your name isn't Patty but <laughs> that's just what, how everyone refers to you but um, thank you so much Patty and Outpost 76 and Relic Wood um, he was my first subscriber Relic Wood Co I believe is is what it is and he's a woodworker I think in Canada but you guys were like that's a dog every time I make a video um, you guys were I think my third and fourth or like fourth and fifth subscribers something like that uh, less than ten, I had less than 10 so I know you were both subscribed by you know by the 10 mark um, I really, really appreciate it. You guys are, are two channels I've been watching for a while. So it's pretty cool that um, it's pretty cool that you're subscribed to my channel. So yeah, this community is awesome. But all right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, stay tuned though for the, the next couple videos coming up. I'm gonna do some sharpening, uh, some Japanese natural stone stuff. And um, yeah, if you guys if you guys want to see any specific videos or general videos or whatever, just uh, yeah, just leave it in the comments or or email me about it. All right, guys, this is Mike with iHeart Knives. I'll see you on the next one.